you guys, something huge just popped up over there. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. It's been a long time since I've posted, and that's because the past couple times I've gone out, something's gone wrong. The last time I went out to Capitola, Ezra and I tried to take the kayaks down one of the stairs and there was like barely any beach access so we had to bring the kayaks from the bottom of the stairs out to the left like 30 meters and while we were doing that with the kayaks loaded we got hit by a wave knocked over a bunch of stuff and I ended up losing my dive mask and this was supposed to be a spear fishing trip so I didn't end up going out all right take number one we tried going out here the first time with the kayaks loaded we got splashed and all of our stuff went all over the place. So we're taking all this stuff off the kayaks, taking the kayaks through this, hopefully don't get hit by another wave. But this time it will just be the kayak, so it'll be a lot easier to get through. And we'll take the kayaks all the way over there. There's like a sandy spot, no waves right over there. Now we are finally out. I'm still not dressed, don't have my top on. But we're about to get going as soon as I put this top on. I did try out my wetsuit for the first time. This is a custom made wetsuit from Italy. It was so nice and I've never been in the water and actually been warm like that. I had a hand-me-down wetsuit that I'd used before, but that brought in so much water, it was so cold. I also used my booties for the first time, some seven millimeter Japanese neoprene booties. Those were really nice. New fins, new gloves, new gun. The whole setup was new, except for my mask and my snorkel, which I just so happened to lose. So that didn't go well. And then also, the time before, I went out to the beach to get crab. I got like 19 crab. It was my max. That's like the most I've ever gotten. But the video was horrible because I didn't have the GoPro on the max lens mode. So it came out all wobbly and jello-y and that weird like fish eye effect that it does if you don't have it on the max lens mode. Today what I'm going to be doing is I am currently living in Davis. I've been up here for two months and haven't gotten to the Sacramento River yet. But since I have all my fishing stuff still in San Jose and only one pole here, I have to stop by Big Five and get my steelhead license because we might be going for steelhead today. I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm doing. And then I have to get some, I think, barbless hooks and just weights and bobbers. But we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna be stopping at this random spot in the Sacramento River and just see if anything bites. Also, I'm in my new whip. This is a 2012, I know, super new, <laughs> Prius. And it's really nice. It has 50 miles per gallon. And compared to my 2004 Honda Accord Coupe, that had 24 miles per gallon or something like that. This is a car from the future. This is a push start. It has AC and a heater that actually works. It has a backup video camera, Bluetooth, so many things. It's even quieter on the road. So many things, it's super nice. And I put the kayaks on here once for the trip that I told you guys about. And it worked perfectly. It has a lot of trunk space. So that's my new upgrade for the car. Sad to see the Honda go. I'd been with that car for four years, but it had to go. It had too many problems, and at that point it was just too expensive to keep fixing. And I got this car for pretty cheap with 72,000 miles. So it's gonna be my new adventure car, and it's gonna save me on all that gas. So this is what I got at Big Five. These drift floating rig things. I've never used this before, but I just thought this looked cool and it's kind of what I've seen other people do. For bait, synthetic fish eggs. This, and I only got it because it says floating steelhead worm and I'm going after steelhead, so. Some swivels and some size two hooks and then one ounce weights. So that's what I'm gonna be fishing with today. Hopefully get some fish so I can put at least something on this thing this year. All right, so I am at the Sacramento River for like the first time since I went fishing with my dad, like, I don't know, maybe two and a half years ago. It is huge. I forgot how big this river is. Just check that out. I don't know if you can just fish anywhere here though. I'm just gonna head down to the water really quick. 
just check it out. Alright, yeah, this this looks like a pretty walked path. I think I'm just gonna fish here for a while. I don't know how deep the water is here either. So it really took a while, but I got it all on there. I've got one bead up here to stop this bobber from going up, and then one bead down here to stop it from going down. And then I've got this egg sinker right over the swivel so it doesn't go down and then it's going to be stopped by that bead and then all the way on the bottom over here i've got this barbless hook i haven't used barbless hooks in a while but it's really interesting seeing them i don't know if i'm going to actually catch anything today and even if i do i might not be able to keep it on because i'm not too good at reeling things in it's nice though because once you hook yourself which i just did it comes out really easily <laughs> okay i'd prefer to be using like six pound test or maybe even eight pound test but this is four pound test we're gonna go with it that's all i had on this reel i've never actually used this reel before i ran into some guy just now and he said you could pretty much fish wherever this looks like where i'm headed so i put the worm on there first cast i'm very bad at casting this stuff by the way you guys all right there it goes not bad, not bad. And I guess with bobber fishing, you just let it go down. This is actually pretty cool. Oh man, this river is actually super cool. It's huge. I wonder if there are actually any fish just right here though. Maybe. I would think they'd be in the middle or maybe some calm spot where they don't have to swim so much. I don't even know what I'm looking for or feeling for. Going to a new spot. I want to get to somewhere where I can cast easily without snagging on a bunch of bushes. I almost fell into the water just now. That would not have been good. I've been cold. It's so windy, I'm losing my balance on these rocks. But check that out. That's a fish head. Look at these guys with their boats out on the river. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I wonder if they have any luck. Sometimes I feel like I don't really do much. I think it's all about knowing a spot, but I mean, I've never had a boat before. And you guys just saw how I cast it, so that's my fishing experience and expertise right there. So that's me right there, but I'm getting like a lot of wind, a lot of really fast moving current. So I think if I move over here, right over there, I'll be more protected from the wind by the trees. I think that's what I'm going to do or else I'm going to start to freeze. It's not even that cold, but it's just really windy. You see that? That was a perfect cast right there. I don't know if you guys could see this. But I'm just fishing right here. Right over there. Like you see that log? You see where there's a bunch of stuff? There's a turtle just sitting right there. No way. That's a turtle right there, you guys. Right there. 
There's a turtle. That's that's the turtle I was talking about. I thought it was a piece of wood. Oh, look, there, there it is. Right there. There's another turtle. There's multiple turtles here. Hmm. Pretty interesting. This turtle's checking me out. I'm not a threat, so you're all good, turtle. Keep chilling. You guys, something huge just popped up over there. It looked like a seal, but we are not in the ocean. What was that? What was that? Let's see if it pops up again because that was huge. It was like the size of a seal and a seal shouldn't be in here. Look, look, what? Why is there a seal in here? So turtles and seals, not what I expected to see today. You know, I've also been wondering, is it possible to kayak in the Sacramento River? And I know, yeah, but like where? And where do I avoid? Another hard thing would be getting in somewhere and since there's so much current, getting someone to pick me up where I get off. I could always throw an anchor down though. Those anchors work pretty well. The guy that I passed on the way in said that here he's caught a lot of catfish and striper. I'm using salmon eggs right now, but I realized that I guess the salmon run isn't until July. So maybe I shouldn't be using salmon eggs right now. I'm gonna switch back. I haven't caught fish in like the past five times I've gone out at all. Like no bites, no nothing. When I go to Capitola, that's pretty, pretty rough. I didn't even catch bait the last time I went. And you know, I was thinking, next time I go to Capitola and there's a ton of anchovies and I'm catching tons, the ones that I put in the cooler, a lot of times they run out of air and they die and I end up throwing them back in. But what I think I'm gonna do with those is I'll just freeze them just for the next times I go out. Cause you can use anchovies like anywhere. And the game was about to change the last time I went out because I went with my full wetsuit, everything. And like spearfishing, the thing is you can pick and choose what you want to shoot. And it's super rare that you go in, dive, and don't see a single fish. Usually you see at least 20 perch and maybe one or two rockfish on a really bad day. On a good day, you see a ton of greenlings, a ton of blue rockfish, some like kelp rockfish, and maybe even one or two lingcod. Definitely, once I start diving, it's gonna bring in more fish than I've had fishing with fishing poles. I also have a GoPro mount for the end of my spear gun. So I'm gonna be taking the GoPro out and you'll be able to see when I shoot these fish, how I shoot these fish, how I search for them. I would like to put a mount on the mask that I have, but the thing is that doesn't have a frame and the only GoPro mounts are for the masks that have frame and that's what the GoPro goes on. But the frame, it's really uncomfortable when it sits on your face for like five plus hours or even like three plus hours and that's, typically what you're diving like three to five hours but it's gonna be really cool i hope to get you guys some really cool footage and i hope to actually catch fish too i also noticed that the visibility in this water is horrible it's around maybe six inches to a foot and that probably isn't really good for fishing because what fish are gonna see your bait some cool exploring. I saw that seal, which was crazy. Why are there seals in the Sacramento River? I had no idea they come all the way up here. That's so weird. Or maybe they live here, I don't know. I'll have to look it up later. And then there were tons of turtles too. I saw two turtles. And there's probably so many more here.
you guys, I just lost my whole entire setup. I have no idea how I snapped it, but my bobber's out over there. Probably not gonna get it back. So that's that. I think that might be my cue to leave. And the bad thing is I don't have any scissors. I didn't bring any scissors with me. So that's why I'm kind of reluctant to go through the pain of trying to take these things apart with me. Okay, so I think that's it for today. I got three hours of fishing in today. Pretty good. No bites, at least not that I could tell. If you guys have any tips or tricks for fishing the Sacramento River or fishing rivers in general for trout, steelhead, salmon, leave them in the comments below because you know I need them. And I'll probably come out here again sometime maybe next week. This time I'm gonna try to go really, really early in the morning, maybe even 5 a.m. because I know that's when the fish bite most and the water's a bit cooler so they can come to the surface more rather than stay in the cool, deep waters. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next one.